guys, we'll go over some stars and squats and push ups. So, if you find yourself a space, uh, so on the screen. Yeah, sure. There we go. Still got the happy birthday. Birthday signs <laughs> still up with some constant celebration. Uh, so, we're going to go star jumps, squats, and push ups. We're going to go 20 star jumps, 10 squats, 10 push ups. And then we're going to go from that. All right, guys, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. Oh, please stop uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop out your back to this. Let's go for our jokes. So close the legs together. So cross the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand to the mat. Let's go for our triangle chokes now. So we're going to lift the hips and close the triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet onto the floor. Let's go for our bridges. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we'll escape on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, stay lying down, guys. Keep your head off the ground. We're just going to bring our chin to our chest. Do our neck exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looking left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's the shoulders. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll come up for our technical stand up. Complete. And we'll go over some standard some motion drills just to get started, guys. So I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Um, we're going to start off with some of our footwork drills and then into uh, some floor brushes, level changes, and some sweep singles. Um, once we've got a bit of a sweat on, we've warmed up a little bit, then we'll get into some partner drills and start moving people around the room a little bit, just so we get some contact to get warmed up a bit more. So, before we do anything, while you're waiting for us, we want to take a water break, then go ahead. I'm just going to get the app up for the time. So, 30 seconds on. 20 seconds off. Okay, so for our wrestling drills. Ah. For our wrestling drill, yeah. Uh, we're going to start off with your four brushes to begin with. So we're going to be in your stance, just warming up uh, the legs and getting used to level changing. So we're going to be in your wrestling stance. We're going to take a step forward on that lead leg, level change down, brush, switch stances, level change, and brush. And move from this point here. So that's going to be our first one from that. Okay, just warm up the legs. Draw number two, we're going to switch sides. So you start on one side here. We're going to uh, protect that lead leg with the down block, pose the hand, switch sides. So change, level change, down block, come back in, hands on the floor. Change your stance towards the other side of you. Okay? 
Turn number three, we're gonna add in some of our sprawls. So we're gonna go short sprawl and spin. So while we're in position from here, short sprawl, spin to the other side, into your stance, short sprawl, spin to the other side. Then we're gonna go with that Uchimata drills. So step, back step, and lift the heel. Same motion, just working on developing the skill of that. And then the final one will be full sprawls. So we're in position, we'll go through all the defensive postures, so down lock, short sprawl, and full sprawls, hips onto the mat from there. Okay guys? So five different rounds, we're gonna have 20 seconds in between, so I'll call out what we're doing just to remind everybody. First one, floor brushes. Let's get set. Alexa. 20 seconds on the clock. Alexa. Song and let's go. So we're in a resting stance. Oh, just turn that a bit. Nice. The level changes there, guys. You have your knee and ankle all in one line. Ah, nice. Next drop, guys, we're going to go side to side off of your sweep singles. So we're going to hit your down blocks and change the sides. So into a good resting stance again. Get ready to move on the spot. And let's go. Move into position, down block, change sides. Into position, down block, change. Add in your level changes. So, good. Round three, short sprawl and spin. So the same motion again, then we change the sides a little bit. Ready, go. Short sprawl, tap. Come on to halfway. Last 10 seconds, guys. Good, one more. Ah. We're going to hit your next, guys. The back step, hands to the floor, heel up towards the ceiling. Step, back step, lift the heel. The skill acquisition phase of today's gym. Ready, three, two, one, go. Step, step, kick. Back in stance, step, step, kick. Point the toes like a ballerina. Kick the balloons. Good, last five. Let's get one more. Good work. Okay, final round, guys. We're going through our sprawl drills. So we have your down blocks, in stance, down block, short sprawl, and full sprawl. Okay, let's get moving on the spot. Get ready. Boom. Down block, short sprawl, full sprawl. Back of the stand. Stay nice and low when we're moving around the room. Down up. Short sprawl. Full sprawl. Halfway. Ah. Nice work, guys. Good job. Okay, relax there real quick. Let's take a quick break. Then we're going to move on to uh, some of our partner drills. So, uh, obviously, these are going to require somebody. 
um, which everybody has apart from Joey. Joey, if you want to repeat those drills, so go back into uh, floor brushes, level, ch uh, level changes, and the sprawls, go through that while we're working the upper body stuff. So we're going to introduce my lovely assistant. Uh, assistant. Uh, let me just, <laughs> we'll just move this back a little bit. Okay. We're going to start off by just transitioning with your partner and put them in for inside control. What I want you guys to move away from is gripping the person's head and then them doing the same thing and us being locked into this position. That sort of tire is uh, a very stalling position and doesn't allow either of us to get any situations off. So we want to replace it to be having the hands on the inside of your partner's arms. So my partner can just put her hands on my shoulders and then I grip onto the elbows, okay? Now what we're going to do from this point is I'm going to pull my hand to the inside, but at the same time, take a step. One, two. So I'm moving the person, my hands on the inside of the arms, and I'm pulling down, you see? So my fingers are wrapped over the triceps, elbows are locked in. You see? Now Sam's going to come back to me, so with one, two, pulls the hand towards the inside. One, two. Pulls it there, just moving back and forth. I want you guys to get used to the drill and get in the, the right hand position, you see? Once I've got inside control, now I've got my shots to start picking up legs and coming into single legs or moving into double legs, okay? But the moment we move away from uh, tie up and clinch and start moving into a bit more of a free position, then we can start setting up some shots, okay guys? So, get yourself a partner. I just want you to practice 10 reps in. When you're done, then just come back, sit back down and reset the position, okay guys? And then we'll go over how to pick up a single leg in a second and level change from there, okay? So partner up with somebody, get a hold of the elbows, pull the arms towards the inside. Joey, you're going floor brushes, getting those legs nice and strong. What was the uh, second drill again? I can't remember. Uh, second drill, you're testing me right now, <laughs> It's the sweep single. So you're going to hit your down block, so you're in a, in a stance, down block, change sides. Oh, uh, okay. Position, down block. Change size. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'll put the clock on for you, Jerry, so I'll call it out for you. Okay. And go when you're ready. Nice. Everybody else sit going back and forward, lean your weight through your partner. Let's work on some weight distribution as well. Good. So it's one for one essentially, just push him, put into position. Nice. And we're looking to get a get control of the inside of your partner. Good. What time there, Joe? Take a rest. Good. Start to move in circles as well with your partners now, guys. So make a grip of the tricep. If you have the inside position, you can start to move the person around, okay? Good. Okay, you're back in, Joey. Let's go. If you're on the outside position, you're looking at sweep singles, you've got grips on the elbows, okay? <laughs> Abdullah and Abdurrahman are scrapping. <laughs> I'll take, take out the bookcase in a second. I think it's bumped. <laughs> Time. Okay, relax there, Joey. Everybody else, come back in. So next thing we're looking at is picking up the single leg. So what we're seeing here, this comes back from the last couple of weeks. We've been looking at this footwork drill from moving from inside to outside. You see, if I'm inside from here, I can hit shots where I'm level changing. So just like I'm, uh, I have a grip on the arm, I'm throwing this by, boom, like I've got cool hair. Cool hair, okay. Then if I'm switching my stance to the outside, I've got those elbow grips. Those are my easy single legs on either side. See, that's the idea of those. So it looks weird, but it works. <laughs> so if I have inside control, I'm dominating and dictating where my partner can go. See, I can pull Sam towards me. Now, what we're doing is raising up on one side, stepping in toe to toe, level changing and catching the leg, 
but I don't want to use my strength in this right hand to lift the leg. See, I've got to push that. So use my forehead into the chest. Now I can lift the leg up and we're into our single leg. Okay, so again on the other side, I get my arms on the inside of my partners. I take a step off to the side. I step toe to toe. Now I level change, catch the leg, and then we're in position to lean, uh, force the person backwards. And really all this is, even if I were to use just my index finger. Oh, <laughs> that's a powerful finger. It's just the understanding of weight distribution. So I'm moving sound from this shoulder rope, okay? So we're going two for two with each other. And after you've done your rep of picking up the single, other person's gonna pull back in. One, two, now Sam can start picking up the single leg on me. Yeah, bum, into position. And then we switch, move around, get into position. So get used to circling the person. Again, all relative to how much space you have in the room, but move the person across, level change, catch, big. Get into the single leg, drop and reset. And again, all we're doing here, the last, last two weeks, we've been doing one, two, three, four. So we understand if we're on the outside, we're going outside shots. If we're on the inside, we're going inside shots. That is what comes into when we're in a stagger stance, we move across first, step, step, pick. So all that is is that drill, pop. You see, step, step, pop. So when we're doing these drills and we're doing all this sort of stuff for 30 seconds, it looks a bit silly like we're joining a tap dance school, but it has some relevance and we're about to practice it. So let's go two for two with your partners, guys. Uh, get your inside control. Step in, pick up the knee. Got it? Let's go. Uh, well, you can practice. Uh, okay. Joey, if you, if you watch the stream real quick, what I'll get you doing is the footwork drills, because the last few weeks we've been going over the stance in motion. So if you start off in a square stance, you're gonna go from here to step in wide, going backwards, and then back in narrow, but maintain a good bend in your legs. So you're gonna do 10 reps here, then in from this, and then we're gonna go into a staggered stance and move across. So your back leg steps first, one, two, three, four, back to the beginning again. So we're just gonna go 10 reps of each and then just get your legs working a little bit. So draw number one, step in wide and back in. Here, 10 reps. And then draw number two, stack and stance, one, two, three, four. That's where your pick is, you see? If I pull this arm by, that's where I catch the leg, then I'm into the single leg, okay? Okay. So either side. Is that that time? Uh, it's worse. Nice work, Callum there. Good. Get the grips on the inside. Nice, Callum. Good. Remember to step toe to toe, so it's right foot to right foot to pick up that single leg. Okay, time to guess. So what we're gonna move into now is some guard pass and draws. Over the last couple of weeks, we've looked at how to move with sort of torianders and knee slices. So we're gonna have one person on the back. Just going to take this off. 
knees up to chest. We're going to practice uh, moving side to side to begin with. So we're, again, we're going to go 30 second drills on this because this is going really fast and then just change over with each other. So we have one grip on the inside of the hip here, one grip on the inside of the knee. And we're just going to walk across that Tariando position. So I'm pinning the knee, no position, my weight's on my toes, my heels are lifted off the ground. We come back to the middle, re take your hands off, put the hands back on, force the knee to the ground, and walk around towards that side, so I'm in position to begin the pass. And again, my toes are engaged with the floor, and all I'm doing is a pendulum step. So if you come out of the way, that's that. The movement that we've been practicing in the training is hand on the floor, hand on the hip, circle, come back, weight comes off, circle, come back. So now we're introducing it with a pass. So come into position one, hand on the hip line, this elbow is going to flare, determining whether or not my partner will try to circle inside. Because obviously Sam's recovery will be to step on my shoulder to start to get a leg back. Okay. Now, when go back. When I feel that, that's when I open my elbow. So you go step. Oh. Now I can still walk around, finish my hard pass, and come into that toriander. Okay, guys. So we're going 30 seconds on your toriander, 30 seconds on your knee slices. So you step in. Come into position here, move back out. Reset, weight comes to the other side. Step in, knees into position. My hip is connected in with my partners, so I'm leaning through onto this second leg. So lean through the knee shield, and that way it's gonna force you into a position to start passing. Come back, back to the other side. So don't be here where there's no connection on this, or you to lean on the leg. Open it up, test your partner's flexibility. <laughs> That's a flexible this morning. Well, get into position, see my hip and elbow are connected, then into the pass. Okay, guys? We're going to have two rounds through. So 30 seconds on the clock. There's going to be 20 seconds in between, and then we'll switch, and then uh, go from there. Okay, guys? Let's get set. One person lay on the back, and go. <laughs> Draw number one, Toriando side to side. We're going pendulum step on your toriando, guys. So your feet should come together and back out to the other side. Make sure we force the knee towards the floor, pin the knee on the ground. Good, 10 seconds left for the people on top. Time, okay, switch over guys, to the person on top. Ready, go. Same chill again, moving side to side. Pin that knee to the floor. Control the hip as well, sir. Good, that's it, hip and knee connection. Good, nice. Nice control there, Carol's roommate. Good. <laughs> Okay, switch over again, guys. We're going uh, knee slices now. So we step into position, make sure your hip and knee are connected, and go. Same grips as the Toriando, guys, so we're hip and knee again. Control the hip with the lead hand, knee, push it down, step into knee slice. Good. Lean into that leg a little bit more, Cal. Good, nice. Time. Okay, switch. And let's go. Good, keep that right leg out as well, Sarah. You want your foot in line with your knee. So bring the right knee into knee slice. Left leg out in line with the right knee. Good, nice. Time. Okay, let's switch once more, guys. Back through again, 30 seconds each. So back to Toriando passing. Ready, go.
Keep it up, Abdullah. Keep moving side to side. Good. Control the hip and knee. Nice work, Joe. Good. Pendulum step across. Yeah, good. Time. Switch top and bottom. Okay, let's go. Time, switch into knee slices now, guys. Okay, let's go. Time. Okay, switch over, guys. Last round. Ready, go. Time. Okay, bring it back in, guys. So, next thing to, I want you guys to start to look at is the leg drag, and we're going to do a jumping pass to sort of switch the hips. Okay, so first thing the leg drag is going to be controlling both of the ankles. We guide the foot across first, catch the knee and then step into position to get into your leg drag, okay? This works really well because you're forcing your partner's hips to face the opposite direction. So we're coming in to control the ankles right at the beginning. I'm already turning my partner's leg, so I'm forcing it across towards the side. I grab onto the knee line, and then we're pulling it past my hip. As I pull it past the hip, I step into the second leg, and I'm locking this in here and into my sumo stance. So I'm nice and low, reset, and then come back towards the other side. And we have to know this passive because this will connect up really well with the Tariando. Walking back into leg drag and also works really well with the knee slice from here. Because if I can't score my pass, maybe my partner's blocking in this position, I walk back and I leg drag on the other side, which is what we want to try to get into as we get moving. But we have to learn this and be comfortable with this position first. And then for the dirty leg locks in the world, into my heel of rack. No practice in that. <laughs> so we go double ankle grips, we start to move the foot, grab the knee line, pull the leg across your body, and then I'm going to step into the second leg. It's a little bit counterintuitive because you feel like you should just go around into the side control, but we have to control the hips first. And then we're going to work the speed in that pass. The other situation I want you guys to get into is going to be more of a delicate position. So we're going to be in uh, one leg over, one leg behind. Okay. Now what we're going to do is post one hand on your partner, and we're just going to jump over the leg. So my left leg is going to uh, jump first, my right leg will follow, then my left shoulder will land on top of my partner. So as soon as I enter in, I'm controlling the knee line, I'm stepping up like I'm stepping over a fence. One, two, and jumping around the legs. At the same time, all of my weight's in this hand to jump up and over like this, you see? That's all I'm doing. At the same time, I'm dropping that shoulder in. Oh. 
Charlotte is the person that spoke. Okay, guys? So, throw what? Leg drag. Throw two. Jump and pass. Okay, guys? Let's get ready. We're going 30 second rounds again, okay? Let's get set. Line the backs, guys. Leg drags first. I'm just gonna leg drag uh, one side if that's all right. Otherwise, I have to drop it and then pick it back up again. Yeah, yeah no worries, man. It's cool. <laughs> okay, and go. <laughs> if you're gonna drag like this, Jay, the, uh, Joey, step into the second leg. So your right leg's gonna go a little bit deeper into that's it, good. And then drop into more of a sumo stance. So step in with your left foot too. Good, and then wide with the left foot. So, come here real quick, sir. Time, switch over. If we're dragging just with the one leg here, as I drag, I want to step in wide, you see? I don't want to be too narrow with my legs tight. This leg's going to be nice and wide, and then I'm putting the weight over the top of this here. Okay, so if we're just dragging, step in, step wide. Okay, let's go. Next pass and leg dragon. <coughs> Good pass out the right one. Keep it up. Good, control the knee. One hand on the knee, one hand on the hip. On the knee, you have the right one. Nice, Alex, good. Step in nice and deep with that foot. And switch, change over, guys. Now we're going for your jump in pass. So we're in position, controls in, jump, jump. Knee back onto the floor. So you jump in one leg at a time to pass through the guard now. Go. Good. Now throw yourself, Sarah. Keep your left hand on the other side of his body. So don't, don't, don't let your arms cross for now. That's it. Big jump with your left leg. Go for it. And land uh, on his belly with your left shoulder. Nice, Joey. Good jump. Good. Nice. Try and make this jump nice and high as well, guys. Very nice, Callum. Good. Time. Switch over. Time. Okay. Back to the beginning, guys. Going back to your leg track passing. So control the ankles, pull it across, move back into the pass. Okay, guys? Get set and go. Nice, step in nice and deep with the second leg, Sarah. Good, don't worry about dropping the knee down. Just step in with the second leg, good. A little bit deeper on that step, Callum. Good, the left knee wants to be closer underneath his knee. So drag, pull. Yep, yeah, step further in with the right. Good. That's better, Joey. You're getting in now. Yeah, good. Okay, time. Switch over, top and bottom. That was good leg tracks, Abdurrahman. Good job. Okay, let's go. Time is running. Time, switch, going into our flying passes now. It's a big jump over the person. Try and be nice and high with the jumping pass. Okay, nice. Let's go. Big jump over the leg, land with the shoulder. Yeah, nice. Good. 
Land with your shoulder up, Rakman. Shoulder on the belly. Time. Nice, that's better, Sarah. Good. Okay, switch over, guys. Change top and bottom. And let's go. Halfway. Time. Okay, bring it in, guys. So we're going to team up <coughs> that leg drag and Torianto leg drag and knee slides that we were just showing you guys. So we're going to start off with the Torianto, and then all we're going to do is walk back onto your palms legs. So I move across to Toriando Paschia. Now, my shin is going to be lifting sounds, you see? I'm coming back and I'm walking back the other way. So I'm not completing the pass. We're walking back in. Your video is frozen. What's that? Your video is frozen. Oh. Frozen. As if for anybody else, that's for me. The video is. isn't frozen is. anymore. It's unfrozen. The video isn't frozen anymore. It's unfrozen. So we're all good? We're all good now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Toriando to leg drag. All I'm doing is walking around to my partner's legs and bringing it back. Okay. So, as I'm coming across, what will happen is Sam will block my shoulder. So, two hands go to that shoulder so I can't commit to the Toriando. What I'm going to do now is start to walk back. So, my shin is blocking my partner's. You see? You can move your hand this one. That shin walks in, and all I'm doing is pushing the hips across, walking back into this position. Again, making sure my foot is under my partner's knee. Now I can grab the knee and drag into position to complete the pass. Okay? So I go to the other side, I walk across, she blocks the shoulder. So then I walk back, lifting the knee, and pulling it into that leg drag from there. Again, when we complete the leg drag, it's just shoulder drops. Oh, and I walk around with a nice and heavy tripod, you see? I'm literally in this position here, and my shoulder will fall towards the floor. So, <coughs> one, block the shoulder, walk back, track the leg. Coriander, block the shoulder, walk back, and we're just forcing the hips to face the other way. Whenever we're passing guard, we always want to try to force your partner's hips to face away from you, because now the guard recovery is much harder. So Sam can't turn the face me now. She either, if she's flexible, she can recover the foot to the chest. But a lot of times she's going to be forced to turtle and then I can start attacking the back. Draw number two, we're going to knee slice. And again, just come in to this position here. So I have my uh, toes on the ground, my heels connected with my butt and my leg out in line with my knee. Now I'm going to move backwards and grab the ankle with the other hand and then pull that by to a leg drag. Reset position and knee slice this side. Again, I can't complete the pass, so I'm in position. I'm gonna walk back, square up my hips, grab the ankle and then drag the leg and finish the pass from there. The more we can connect these passes, the more success you're gonna have. Essentially, what we're looking at at the moment is I've just taught you a jab cross and a hook, okay? And then if we just try in a fight to jab somebody or to cross somebody or to hook somebody, you're gonna have very limited success. But if you start hitting combos and you start going jab, cross, hook, cross, hook, jab, 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 cross, hook, then, then you can start to really get something going and start passing people's guards. Okay, guys? So, drill number one, Toriando, back to leg drag, drill number two, knee slice, back to leg drag. Got it? Am I still frozen? Oh, no. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get set. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, first round, take it nice and slow. This is a, a new drill to everybody. So just work on the footwork and the motion from it. We'll go three rounds this time so we can work on developing the speed throughout. Okay? Let's go.
Nice leg tracks there, Alex. Good. Good. Switch the hips back the other way. Yeah, good. Time. Switch over, guys. Change partners. Okay, let's go. Start to move the knee, Jeremy, before you start walking backwards. So pin his knee to the ground, walk around towards the side, pause there. Now lift the knee with your left hand and now walk back. Yes, but keep your right shin underneath the, the part that your, your dummy's leg. So we go back again. Pin the knee to the floor. Good. Lift the knee. Time. Switch. Lift now. Use your shin under under the leg. Go go right knee under the calf. The the other leg. That's it. Uh, other side of it. <laughs> there there. Good. Okay. We're going knee slice and leg track this time, guys. Let's go. So step into your knee slice. Step backwards. And then leg drag. Good. Step into knee slice. Move back. Leg drag. Nice. Good. Good. Nice workout. Time. Okay. Switch over for the person leg dragging. Nice work there, Axe. That's a good combo for you. Okay, let's go. Last 10 seconds, guys. Nice work, Sarah. Shuffle backwards now. Good, and leg drag. Good. Time. Okay, back to the front, guys. Switch over. We're going back into Toriando passing and back to leg drags. So repeating draw number one. Let's go. So we're Toriando in one side. Push it, lifting the knee, walking back into the leg track. Good. All on the same side leg. Ah, switch. Other person into the Toriando to the leg track. Okay, let's go. Nice work, Abdurakman. Good passing. Nice work, Sarah. Step a little bit deeper on that leg. So walk in. Good. Walk back. Lift Alex's knee. That's it. Good. Time. Good job, guys. Okay, switch. Top and bottom. We're going into knee slides. Back to leg drag again. Ready, go. Nice silence, good passing, good. Good job there, Callum. It's a nice leg drag, buddy. Move into that knee slice, good. Shuffle back and drag, good. Time. Right. Switch over top and bottom, guys. Last round of uh, knee slice to leg drags. Okay, let's go.
time. Okay, take a water break, guys. Grab yourself a drink. And then we'll move into some new drills. Okay, so we're going to finish off uh, going back into solo drills. We're going to go through a takedown round first and just get a, a bit of a sweat back on. Then we're going to go through some of the guard passing motions in round two. Okay, guys? So we're literally just going to repeat the beginning and then finish with it. We've got 10 minutes left. So I want you guys to sweat a little bit before we finish off uh, and rather than testing the minds too much. So we're going to, again, drill number one, floor brush. Drill number two, sweep single. Drill number three, scroll, change. Scroll, change. Four is your active rest. Get the breath back with the Ishimata. And five is going to be stance and motion, level changing, scrolling, and move from there. Okay, guys? Let's get set. Find yourself a space on the mat. We've got 30 seconds at work, 20 seconds in between. Okay, guys? Ready? Go. Floor brushes again. Good, last 10. Good level changes. Three, two, one, time. Okay, sweep singles next, guys. Remember to add in your down blocks, get some stance and motion to break up the repetitive movements and to catch your breath when you need to. Okay, guys? So nice and low stance for this. We should be able to touch the mat with your fingertips. Okay? Go. Down block, change. Move, down block, switch. And in that motion, guys, so level change with it. Good. Last five. Time. Scroll and change this time, guys. So you're getting your short scroll, spin to the other side. And again, this is just a short scroll, so you just gotta get your hips back. We don't put the hips towards the floor. Okay, guys? Imagine your post on somebody's shoulders rather than properly scroll. Go. Change. Into a square stance from this. Scroll. Change. Time. Okay, each of is next, guys. Again, really work on the using the right technique for this. So we step, back step, heel up towards the ceiling. Ready? And three, two, one, go. Last ten seconds on your chimatas. Time. Okay, defensive postures to finish off, guys. So down blocks, scrolls, moving around, short scrolls, and changing sides. Thank you. 
Short sprawl, full sprawl, hips onto the mat. Yes. Down back. Short sprawl, full sprawl. Moving in stance throughout. Short sprawl, full sprawl. Down back. Time. Good. Relax there, up with that. I sound like the top of Technical to difficulties again. Okay. Next one, we're going into your guard passing drills. But before we do, I want to do one round of footwork drills. Okay, guys? So, wait, oh no, that doesn't work. There. So, we're starting off in your stance, nice and low. We're stepping out and back in. We're going 10 reps here. Uh, staggered stance, move across and back. 10 reps there. And then 10 reps of your down blocks either side. Okay, guys? Then we'll move into some of your guard passing drills. So, let's get set. We've got a good stance, square stance to begin with. Moving from here, we're stepping out into a wide stance. Back into now. Okay, guys. Ten reps. Nice and low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Standard stance. Moving across. One, two. Step with your back leg first. Three, four, five. Nice and low in your stance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Down blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Back into our guard passing drills now, guys. Round one was our Tori Angus. So we're going to hands to the floor. Pendulum step, back to a square stance, take your hands off, back into position again. Pendulum, back, hands off, pendulum, back, hands off. Round two is going to be your knee slices, so square stance, step in, get into position from here, again, my foot connected to my heel, then walk backwards. Hands off, other side. Okay, then we did our leg tracks, so square stance, pull the leg by, step into position. Drag the leg, grab the knee, step. Moving from there. Okay, guys. Drill number uh, four is knee slice back to Tarianda, so ste uh, step in, step back, leg drag. And then number five, we'll do our jumping pass. So hands connected with the floor, lift the left leg first, then the right. Knee on the floor, reset the position. Hands, hands, jump, jump. Okay, guys? Number one, Toriando, number two, knee slice. 30 seconds. Go! Toriando's first, moving side to side. Come back to center, hands off the floor, back to the other side. Low stance to us. Ten seconds. Nine. Knee slices next. Walking into position again. Hands hit the floor. We're keeping this stance to us. We're nice and low towards the ground. Ready guys, three, two, one, go. Hands on the floor, knees in position, back to begin. Hands off the mat, other side. Good. 
Good. Finish your last 10 seconds. Time. Go up, guys. Left tracks next. Turn the stance, move the ankle, grab the knee, step in. If you want to do this with your partners, then go for it with the partners. If you're happy, just do it as you are, then keep it in position. Okay, guys? So, square stance, grab the leg, grab the knee. One, and step. Weight's going into the heel. So my toes are lifted. Oh. Drag and pull. Drag, catch the knee, drag. Ten seconds. Time, good. Okay, we're moving into knee slice, coming back into leg drag again. If you just practice with a partner, then just switch over. The other person can do the leg drag. Otherwise, we're stepping in, stepping back, leg drag. Good. Ten seconds. Ah. Last drill, guys. Jumping pass. So our hands on the floor. Then jump up nice and high. One leg at a time. Left jump. One, two. Knees in position. Reset. Okay, guys. One leg at a time. Go. <laughs> Ten seconds. Time. Oh. Good work there, guys. We've got a nice sweat on towards the end. Uh, when we finish that stuff, you can come in. Okay. Uh, Sam wants to take a photo with everybody, so she's just going to come over from the kitchen. <laughs> Here I am, from wow. the kitchen. <laughs> Stones throw that's, away. That's the bonus of living in London. <laughs> Everything Your in one room. Kitchen, dining room, and living room is all in one place. <laughs> well, good training there, guys. Very good work. Um, the last set of guard passing drills that we were doing with the partners are quite advanced, and everybody's hitting them uh, really easy. Uh, as I said, you've got to be able to combine these passes, your toriandos, your leg drags, and your knee slices. Everybody did them really well. Uh, and then we also hit your takedown drills all at the start. So you did a really good job picking up the legs and just getting a feeling of weight distribution. And those things you can practice pretty much anywhere because we're not finishing the takedown. You're not dropping the pass on the floor. So we're doing a good job. Okay, guys. Thank you all very much. If you're around tomorrow, uh, we have a session again at uh, 3.30. 3.30 tomorrow if you guys want to train. If not, enjoy your weekend, have some fun, and I'll see you Monday for some solo drops. Okay, guys? Can we take a screenshot? Is that okay? Thanks for having me as well. I'll just say something to the people who are watching the recording, and then we'll end the recording and do the stuff like this and stuff. Um, thanks to everybody who came, and thanks to everybody who watched. If you're a UCL student, you can support us by buying membership on the Student Union website. If you're not and you want to support us, currently on our Facebook, we have a charity drive. For the Mental Health Foundation, which we think is a really important charity for everybody at some extent at the moment. So if you want to support us and you're not a UCL student, that's a great way to do so. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>